What's up, Cinema Shogun here, and ever since the Oscars slap, I think it's safe to say that we all kind of came to the conclusion that Jada Pinkett Smith was not the kindest person behind closed doors. And now, sources are stepping forward confirming just that. You know, I was wondering how long it would be before people would be emboldened around this new interest of how Jada Pinkett Smith really is, you know, her true self and how she treats Will Smith. I was wondering how long before that would embolden people to speak out about her because surely if she's really this evil type of woman who just treats her husband like pure trash and humiliates him for fun, then surely she's not the kindest person to other people as well. And now it is coming out that Jada Pinkett Smith has become increasingly difficult to work with. She's extremely demanding behind closed doors. From trouble with Hollywood pals to staff behind closed doors, it looks like Jada Pinkett Smith needs quite the attitude adjustment. While her bossy behavior may not be the direct result of the stress she's been dealing with ever since Will Smith's Oscar fiasco, where he slapped comedian Chris Rock on stage over a joke about her hair, an insider spilled that she's becoming increasingly difficult to deal with behind closed doors. In fact, Jada Pinkett Smith has even had staff walk out on her as of late. Will and Jada previously kept household staff for many years with no complaints, the source said. But within the last five years, Jada Pinkett Smith has become extremely demanding and they cycle through chefs, security guards, and trainers. So this isn't something that just sparked off since the Oscar slap. This is something that started around five years ago, they're saying, but it's become even more difficult since the slap. And I would guess that most of these people are now just dealing with Jada directly and they're not dealing with both Jada and Will because Will is out of there. Will's like in hiding in India, literally, with like some type of peace guru, some weird shit. But Jada Pinkett Smith, you know, is at home and she's just having staff walk out on her on the daily. Meanwhile, it's not only Pinkett's staff who have had it with her. The insider also squealed that Will Smith has been unhappy for years and that Jada is just impossible to please. So I would guess that this little insider is probably one of the staff members that walked off. They're not going to disclose their name because of course lawsuits would be coming out left and right, but I would assume it's probably one of the staff that walked off. It's probably a disgruntled employee who Jada treated bad, and now they're just coming out spilling the beans. But they're saying that Will Smith has been upset for years and that Jada has just been come, like, become increasingly hard to deal with, increasingly harder to please, and that Will Smith can't please her. Nothing that he does is good enough. We've seen plenty of examples of that, and we've tackled and talked about plenty, plenty of examples of that you know, in the past. And though Pinkett Smith may be upsetting those around her, the source alleged, alleges that she's too focused on her brand to worry about anybody else. Jada is ferociously ambitious, explained a second source, and she's going all out to make her talk show a success. So right now she's like, she's trying to become the next Oprah. We'll just call it what it is. She's trying to turn this Red Table Talk into the next big thing, the next big talk show, Rival, rivaling like Oprah, Dr. Phil, I guess you could say, you know, something like that, but I guess more of a fresher take on it. But she's just basically zoned in on that, focused on that. And she's, the reason why she's so like ferociously ambitious is because she's trying to get out of Will Smith's shadow. And I feel like she's bitter about Will Smith's success. Continued, the source says Red Table Talk, it's her top priority. And she doesn't have time to be holding Will's hand and acting as his de facto therapist. 
Pinkett Smith has often aired out the famous couple's dirty laundry on her show and most recently teased Smith will tell his side of the Oscar story on her show coming soon. We don't know when that will be, but that was confirmed that he will talk about it. He will address it on her show. Of course, she couldn't wait. She rushed out this season after the slap and just threw this last, you know, this new season together because she's trying to capitalize off of all this attention. The source says that Jada Pinkett Smith expects Will Smith to man up and stop moping around and to pull himself together. Oh my God. I mean, that is basically the impression I got from her recent statements and just her reactions, basically. The fact that she's out here going to these red carpet events. She just put out a new season of her show. She's just steamrolling right through it as if nothing happened. In fact, she's capitalizing on the attention. Whereas Will Smith is like in hiding and this and that. And then she released, you know, a couple of different statements, one of which was basically saying that she didn't agree with what her husband did and that she didn't need protecting and basically threw her husband under the bus. So, yeah, I do feel like she has the mentality of like, oh, you need to suck it up and get it together because she's like the one with the pants in the relationship. She wears the pants in the relationship and their roles are kind of reversed here, you know. It's safe to say that Will Smith losing it at the award show after the comedian made fun of his wife's bald head shocked the world. But to the world of the rich and famous, his outburst didn't surprise much of Hollywood, as he and Jada Pinkett Smith have been apparently rubbing people the wrong way for a while now. Hmm. Okay, this is getting juicy. The couple's peers can't stand them, claimed an insider. So the slap ordeal has only served to deepen the disdain. And it seems Pinkett Smith isn't the only spouse with high demands. On set, Will believes he deserves to have assistance at his beck and call, luxury trailers, and special meals catered to him, the insider spilled. He thinks he knows best, and he's not afraid to share his opinion. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to defend Will Smith here. I, 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 this is most likely true. But it also sounds just like any other actor. Like, yeah, someone of Will Smith's stature, I would assume, would have assistance and a luxury trailer and special meal meals catered to him. You have to have special meals catered to you when you're working on a movie to make sure you maintain a certain weight and stuff. So I'm not saying there's too much there. But I think whoever's leaking all this information is a disgruntled employee one of the staff members that recently walked off more than likely. But this just confirms things that we already knew. I mean, if we, if you followed the story at all, if you've looked into how just evil and toxic she is to Will and how just she hops on any like moment, any opportunity to just humiliate him, to demean him, to make him look like less of a man to his fans, then you would all only assume that she's just, you know, not that nice to deal with behind the scenes. But I mean, I think this is just, this is just confirmation of things that we already knew, like I said, but I think we're going to start hearing more. This isn't the first that we're going to hear. We're going to start hearing more for sure. And it's not looking good for Will Smith. You know, I've been focused a lot on the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial over the past couple of weeks, but Will Smith is out here losing a lot of jobs. They took her jobs! He's losing a lot of jobs. A lot of um, movies are getting canceled, TV shows, you name it. Meanwhile, Jada Pinkett Smith is just, like I said, steamrolling right ahead with this new season of her show. She's popping up at all the award shows, all the red carpets by herself, elegantly dressed, finally getting the spotlight that she thinks she deserves without her husband, you know, clouding, clouding her pictures, taking the spotlight off of her. So she's loving this moment. She is loving this moment. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Surely this doesn't come as a surprise to you, but I still want to know what you think. But while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. 
ring that notification bell and I'll talk to you on the next video.